Excuse me? I lost my son. Can I please make an announcement? Of course. Goodbye, you little shit. You wouldn't eat your breakfast, you wouldn't get in the shower on time, so now we're running late to school, Trevor. Just great! <laughs> Mom, stop! I have to tell you something! What in the fuck could you possibly have to say? <laughs> I forgot my backpack at home! <laughs> Don't hit me! <laughs> Open the door, Trevor! I'm gonna kick your ass! Hello? What's up? What are you eating? Mom made cookies. Oh, sick! This is the last one. Get out of my room. I'm not in your room. Yes, you are! I'm not even penetrating the threshold! Yes, you are! No, I'm not. Look, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated. Can you please stop saying penetrate? Penetrate. If I can see you, you're still in my room. Oh, pff, with that logic, if I see Henry Cavill through my TV, he's my husband. What? No, 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 what? No! Are you sure? Pretty sure. Damn. I'm still not in any room. Get out! Fine! Thank you. What the- Walk with sticks or umbrellas in the mitts. Putting on the ring.
After years of waiting, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach has finally launched, and with it, we now have a whole load of mysteries to discuss. What's the deal with the Vanny Therapy tapes? Why is this room from Sister location in the Pizza Plex? Who is the best animatronic, and why is it Music Man? There are a lot of things to solve in this massive game, as lore hides behind every pirate poster and inside every arcade cabinet. But the theory I have today goes to the heart of this game, addressing the one character that we spend a lot of time with but don't actually see all that much and that's our main character of security breach Gregory yep in a franchise full of dead kids I want to focus on the first ever living child we've seen in the main story of the games except for in the fruity maze minigame but we all know that she ends up dead who is Gregory what is Gregory and why is he such a cold-hearted savage to Roxy and the rest of the animatronic gang I'm so mad that you're driving without my permission <laughs> Oh my gosh! Gregory is brutal! My friends, the answers to those questions will recontextualize everything that you thought you knew about this series. So let's begin. Hello Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, the show that can't help but stuff its face with FNAF lore like Chica stuffs her face with pizza and garbage. I guess at this point it kind of applies to us too. Anyway, if you want to stuff your YouTube feed with FNAF videos, then hit that subscribe button right now, because today starts what I expect to be a three-part series into the many unsolved mysteries of Security Breach. I mean, on the surface, the game seems pretty self-explanatory, right? Survive being trapped in a mall for one night. Looks like the new team forgot to read the title of the franchise. But that's nothing. That's easy. Once you start looking into secret rooms, secret tapes, secret endings, secret minigames, and actually bother to read all the emails and item descriptions, you learn that there is a lot more here. Stuff that looks both backwards at the series that came before and forwards into what is coming next. Stuff that, quite frankly, I'm still working on piecing together. This is a big game with lots of places to hide things. But today, I want to focus on a mystery that I do feel like I have a pretty solid handle on. The relationship between Gregory and Glamrock Freddy. What's the deal with this random kid and why is a killer animatronic suddenly trying to help him? Like seriously, the game kicks off with this incredible cutscene. Everyone is living their best 80s-tastic lives on stage before Freddy suddenly glitches out and smash cut to Gregory just being there, I guess. It is one of the weirdest, most jarring intros to a game ever. And then from that point forward, we're just expected to assume that everything is perfectly normal, no explanations necessary. So I'm here to give you that explanation because I strongly suspect that this boy is not a boy, and this robot is not a robot, and that the story of their relationship is one that's trying to make amends for one of the earliest and most pivotal points from this entire...